wherever you go. A famine came to Israel. Elimelech, Naomi, and their sons went to Moab to find food. Elimelech died. The sons married Moabite women, Orpah and Ruth. Then the sons died too. <laughs> the three women had no husbands. When the famine in Israel was over, Naomi decided to go home. Stay in Moab, she said to her daughters-in-law. It's your home. Orpah stayed, but Ruth said, Wherever you go, I will go. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Together, Ruth and Naomi went back to Israel. It was harvest time in Israel. Naomi told Ruth to gather the bits of grain left behind in a field. The field belonged to Boaz, Elimelech's relative. Boaz approached Ruth. Did Ruth decide to leave her home and go back to Israel with Naomi? You were very kind to Naomi, Boaz said. Leaving home must have been hard. May God bless you. He gave Ruth food and told his workers to watch over her. <laughs> Ruth told Naomi what happened. Naomi smiled. When someone dies, his closest relative cares for his family. That person is their kinsman redeemer. Boaz is our kinsman redeemer. Stay close to him. What gift did Boaz give to Ruth when he told his workers to watch over her? So Ruth stayed close to Boaz. He liked her more each day. Boaz bought Elimelech's land and took care of Naomi and Ruth. Then he asked Ruth to marry him.
had a son called Obed. Obed's son was Jesse. Jesse's son was David, and David became Israel's greatest king. So God blessed Ruth just as Boaz had prayed. David, Israel's greatest king, was Ruth's great-grandson. True or false? <laughs> 